Good morning. My name is John Takis, and I'm your guest host. You might know me because I'm an author. I'm an award-winning author, and my, I write under John Raymond Takis. This morning, my guest is Charlene from the v, uh, American Legion. American Legion is something that's touching my heart dearly because, as you can see, I am a veteran, and this is a jersey I wore, and as you can see, one of my sponsorships are the American Legion. So with that in mind, Charlene, would you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're here this morning okay, for? I'm the current president of the American Legion uh, Post 108 Auxiliary, and um, we are one of the sponsors, meaning the American Legion Post, are one of the uh, supporters, uh, sponsors of the 8th Annual uh, Thanksgiving Dinner at the Post. There's no charge, uh, so please come and enjoy yourself. And uh, we're, um, we're not too much involved. Um, the church people have really got it covered. But if you haven't got any place to go and you want to, you know, to come to the Post and have Thanksgiving dinner, I'm sure they won't turn you down. You might even see me and my family there. Let me ask you one question. Do you have to be a veteran to No, attend? it's open to the, the community. Very good. And uh, they usually have a large crowd, and it goes from 1130 to 330. And the other thing is, is that you'll see neighbors there. You'll make new friends. And th there's nothing wrong with making a new friend, whether a veteran or not. Um, now the church is really covering this, and so if you don't mind, I'm going to talk about uh, what you have to do to be an American Legion Auxiliary tell us, member. Tell us about that. Okay, you have to be um, married to father, grandfather, but you have to have a, a, a lineage of being a veteran. And uh, my dad was in the Philippines, in the, uh, and he came out in 1946, almost before my second birthday. Uh, before I ever got to know my father. So those are the, some of the things. I mean, the 1990s, all the way back to Merchant Marines. Don't hear too much about the Merchant, merchant Marines. Merchant Marines, no. And so one of the questions I was going to ask you is, do they have to be in a war to be in the American Legion? Um, you know, that one I really don't know because we do have some that did not, uh, like, for instance, my, my husband was an aircraft mechanic stationed at Castle Air Force Base. So he did not go out of country. So he cannot be in some things, and he's not a Vietnam veteran because he did not see action. I understand that. that. So uh, that's one of the things. And uh, But if you have any questions at all, uh, just give one of us a call. Uh, you can leave a message up at the ambulance company and have them, you know, they'll get a hold of me or Donna or Terry. Terry's a good one because he's our veteran service officer. Uh, I know Terry very well. Thank and you very much. And he's a heck of a nice guy. Tries to help everyone as much as he can, and that. So, and being a Purple Heart, I see you have your Purple Heart on. I am. I was. Uh, I don't know if you want to call it awarded that. I, it's not a really award that you want to get. No, you know? it's, it's not. It's kind of like getting in front of a bus or something. Yeah, I have my <laughs> have my dad's Purple Heart, and uh, the bar with the oak on it. Mm -hmm, yes. Uh, I was born in February, and I could tell you the year. Yes, I will. Forty five, and. Uh, February 27th, and within five days after my birth, while well, I was at home with my mom, I see. my dad was there, and he got shot and stabbed within four days. Stabbed? Uh, stabbed. And I told him, I, you know, I never knew all of these things. So talk to your families about your history and the veterans, because you just might think your dad is a dad, but when I saw, after my dad passed away and I fa saw his uh, discharge papers, his separation papers, I went, my gosh, dad, couldn't you have ducked her? anything and by tracing all of these things down you know you have to support the veterans yes support you and your endeavor yes because you're you're representing everyone my dad uh, Robert anyone that's a veteran you represent that but if you want to learn about being in the American Legion the post or the auxiliary I do have applications to join See, never go and anywhere. And you can get those applications probably down at the VFW Hall also. Oh, well. On Sunday, or on Thanksgiving. Yes, at the American mail. Legion Post, 108 at Sutter Hill and that. So, But I look forward to seeing you there. I go there. I'm a member. Of yes. One, yeah, been a member before. Now, I'm also a veteran's family. My dad was a paratrooper in World War II. And my son, who graduated from Amador in 08, is a paratrooper in Afghanistan and, and, and Iraq. He served in both. So we have a big lineage of yes. veterans also. Listen, I want to thank you very much for showing up here today. Oh, well, I appreciate it. You. I'll give you one little piece of history on me. We've chased 
our family all the way down, and we've been in every single conflict since the very first one. So if you wonder why I'm so ornery, it's because I got it honestly. Uh, ornery is a good thing to have if you're in the military, That's to be right. really honest with you. I mean, we don't really want really, really nice people there. I mean, no, we're all it, nice veterans, yeah. don't get me yeah. wrong, but really we want some people that's going to... You have to do your job. Thank you very much. Thank you.